Welcome to Google or Jenkins Docs Office Hours. I'm so used to running other things. Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's February 17th, 2022. Reminder that we abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct. Topics for today, Jenkins is the way and some questions that Gavin Mogan had. She Code Africa contribute on news. Good first issues where we'll do a live bug fix is my proposal anyway. And then a topic on adding a troubleshooting page uh, and topic on Linux installers and their change from init to system D. Any other topics that need to be added to the list? Looks good to me. Okay, all right. So first topic then, um, Gavin Mogan joined the docs office hours last week during the Asia time zone. And we did a, a detailed review of the content for Jenkins is the way, and it's looking really good uh, translation. So the their conversion, I guess, is the best way to say it. So what he's done is he's converted it from the, from the WordPress site, uh, now converted to, I believe, ASCII doc that we can maintain as code. Nice. And what he noted is, hey, it doesn't have to actually go on to Jenkins onto www.jenkins.io. And if we put it there right now, it will, if we add it there, it will roughly double the size, the size of the Git repository. The, and the Git repository for Jenkins.io is already quite large at 60 megabytes. So it will go from like 60 megabytes to over a hundred. Mm. And he suggested at, at, I think also a suggestion from um, Oleg Nanashev, well, we could consider putting it at a different URL. Mm -hmm. It's been at a different URL today. It is at Jenkins is the way uh, dot, oh, I forget what is I it. Dot, dot Jenkins.io. Uh, Jenkins is the way dot io dot io okay mm -hmm. and what we could do is Jenkins is the way dot Jenkins dot io mm. if you'd be willing to do that Alyssa and then we don't we would still manage it with the same techniques we would use pull requests to manage it just like we do www.jenkins.io but it would be a separate site and a separate repository Okay. Would that be okay for you or? I think that's fine, Mark. Okay. Yeah. And then the idea would be we would redirect the existing WordPress site to the new location so that we could yeah. switch off the hosting of the WordPress site. Okay. Yeah, I think the uh, the the timeline for renew, renewing the, the current site is around... April. It's an, okay, it's, so. it's an a year, it's an annual um, the subscription. So the subscription is up in April. Good. Okay. So so then let's put this um, mark uh, to work with the infra team. Infra team to confirm that we can host Jenkins is the way dot Jenkins dot IO in in the Jenkins infra. Okay. And that would mean a GitHub repository, a uh, site, and it could be on Netlify, uh, elsewhere, you know, it doesn't have to be anything that we do an awful lot for. And uh, then we'll coordinate it with, with Gavin Mogan. Thank you. That's, Thank you. that's the, the piece that I wanted to check on. Okay, great. I'll stick around. Okay, great. Well, so then you let's- you need me. Excellent. And so then on to the next topic, She Code Africa Contributhon. So Zenob, I apologize that I have not done my actions yet. Help me with a reminder on the timeline. Where are we at and what's what are the upcoming steps? And Zenob's baby may be keeping her busy. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sinab. Yeah, so, sorry. Yeah, you were saying? I, I wanted a reminder on the timeline. I'm a little worried. I haven't submitted the project ideas yet. 
Um, okay. Um, so if we could get them um, before the end of this month, if that's okay by you. Sure. All right. That, oh, that's easy. Absolutely. So before end of February, and yeah. the the funding. So the so Cloudbees funding has has. I guess Alyssa, it's a good question to you. Have we have we done the right I dotting and T trust crossing to assure that Cloudbees funding has been submitted? So the last time I spoke with Jude is that legal was reviewing the, um, the contract. Okay. The agreement. Um, but we do have funding in place saved for this specific project. All so right, I'm good. not worried about that yet. All right, great, excellent. CloudBees funding is approved internally at CloudBees. Mm -hmm. And just so you're clear, uh, Zenob, it's actually in my budget as a manager. <laughs> so it's, it's where we like it, is where it was the, the person who cares deeply about it has the one who has the funding. Yeah. So we're just working the details yet. Good. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, still, so that's, that's the thing that I needed. So I still need mentors and um, open to more project ideas. So I'll continue, Mark, to continue recruiting. So the project ideas post looks like this and offers program management, the inclusive naming initiative, screenshot updates, and that one we really do have clear things and then test the tutorials and test automation. So all of those are, are viable. So Mark, you have a couple of names by, uh, by there. So are they, are those confirmed mentors? Uh, they are, they are people who said that they were willing guests as part of the docs oh. office hours. So Meg, Meg, mentored last year and is willing to do it again. Mm. Uh, Kristen mentored, mentored last year and Diraj has said he's willing to mentor this year because he's in India. It's a little more complicated getting time zones aligned between Diraj and Meg or between Diraj and Kristen, but, but I think it's still workable. Okay. I, I no, that's great. I mean, you got mentors to project ideas. Yeah, yeah they're, we're still, it feels like we're still shorthanded. In particular, yeah. last year, we had some surprises where we had changes proposed, but no one to review the changes who had permission to merge them. And mm -hmm. so it's, it's a danger here that having mentors in this case is necessary, but not sufficient. We also have to have the right maintainers agree that they're willing to review the pull requests that come in to make the fixes. Okay. And then we had an additional project idea. I should note that from um, from from Gavin Mogan saying, "Hey, browser web browser automation is a very interesting field, and doing screenshot updates with web browser automation might be something that could be done." So automate the cool. taking of screenshots. Like that? Yeah, it, it's it's a. An interesting, but for me, that's a, that is to me a much more challenging, challenging programming task than many of the other tasks we put on the list. It would, it, it's uh, an intensely valuable programming task, but it's it's more challenging. Mm, okay. So, Dira or Zinab, anything else that you wanted to highlight on Contributeon? Um, nothing else. Okay. So, and let's see, I had the, I had the link to the submission form someplace else in the notes. Here it is, good. Let me be sure that I copy that forward so that we've got it. Great, okay. So we'll get those in before end of the month and we've got at least one more meeting of office hours to safety check that we did that on time. Good, all right. Okay, then the next story is news, oops. And on the news front, we released 
Jenkins, Jenkins 2.335 released with more UI improvements and the systemd install based installer, Linux installer. And uh, that's their bug reports are arriving for the UI improvements. A number of issues were found in terms of mm -hmm. images that aren't quite right, et cetera. And bug reports are expected on the Linux installer. Then we've got Jenkins 2.332.1 is coming. That's the March 9, 2022 LTS release. And it will include UI improvements, what I'd call phase one. Uh, not the full set that are visible in 335, but an interesting subset with some really nice improvements like plugin manager, um, tables, it's a, it's a nice look. And that will need a uh, change log and an upgrade guide. We'll do that as part of the docs office hours. Likely first review will be next week. Any questions on that one? No question for me. Okay. All right, next topic was, as this is more of a, a how do we wanna do it question. And so Zenob, for you and Alyssa, this is a really good one for a check for the two of you. Gavin Mogan asked the question, hey, he would like a set of standard responses. You're having trouble running something inside Jenkins, but it works locally. And how do you solve that? And um, it's, a, it's a very good question. We actually had a wiki page that specifically addressed that. The, the way it said it was, hey, my software builds on my computer, but not on Jenkins, why not? And this then lists a checklist of ideas of things that you should be checked to understand why inside Jenkins it might fail, but outside Jenkins it would work. And Gavin has noted some additional spots. Now the question is, where should, be, where should it be placed? So the idea I suggested was, hey, here's this page, system administration, and it's got a bunch of subtopics, backup, restore, monitoring, chef, puppet, logging, scripted, diagnosing errors, and getting a thread dump, those kinds of things. My thought was we should put another entry here at the same level as diagnosing errors and call it troubleshooting and then have a page that has those frequently asked questions or common, common concerns. Hey, it doesn't do what I expected, why not? What do you think? Does that seem reasonable to you? Is there a better way that you would recommend? And so, um, so my thoughts are instead of putting it under um, system administration, why not it be a whole different section on its own? So I don't have to, because I think troubleshooting is something that a lot of people have issues with, and it's going to have like a range of different topics when it comes to troubleshooting. And as time goes on, if um, it's something that keeps getting updated. It will get potentially very large with um, very different topics on um, how to troubleshoot Jenkins. So um, I don't think it would be a bad idea if it's like a different section on its own, not under like a different section for troubleshooting and Jenkins. And under that section, you have the various different topics that you have to troubleshoot Jenkins. That's my own um, suggestion. I like that. Okay, so I think what you're saying is 
is what we would do is in addition to a system administration section we yeah. have now, we would add at this same level, a troubleshooting section and admit yes. that it would have subtopics and the subtopics might be troubleshooting how to do builds. Another might be troubleshooting yes. port conflicts or troubleshooting. Yes. Yeah, so, so that might lobby that this, a, a copy of this diagnosing errors thing, or at least it's information might go into that troubleshooting section. Yes as yes. a dedicated troubleshooting section and obtaining a thread dump likewise is really a good, that's a, that's a good troubleshooting tool. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good. More attractive as a, as a separate top level section, as a separate section at the same level as system administration, move the move content into it and extend and add content. So the idea would be things like, and I'm gonna copy those now, obtaining a thread dump. Obtaining a thread dump. And the other one that we were using was diagnosing errors as an example. Good, yes, excellent idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that, very good. Okay, any other, any other suggestions or insights to offer there? I don't have any, Mark. So that, that has an, this has an, a nice benefit as well. We would use a page redirect, those two existing yeah. pages I was about to, ask that. to the new location. That's be part of the pull request. Uh, create the new section, redirect the existing pages to the new location and move the existing page content to the new location. Yeah, that's that's a good one because it it's not just showing us showing a contributor how do you do the new section. It's also here's a new section. It needed to be populated with some existing content so that that content would redirect. Good, I like that. Okay, very good. So um, this redirect does it mean that um, we are still going to have these topics under the system at least? section but when you i'm not sure how do you guys work yeah so good good question so so because this is a, a full full level page so diagnosing okay. errors is a top level page it would disappear from this table of contents entry here so it wouldn't okay. be visible here but if someone nav opened this url it would immediately redirect them to oh, troubleshooting okay. slash to diagnosing dash errors. So like that, okay. it would be as though they had typed the correct URL and, oh. and that redirect then is a permanent thing. And it's the Jenkins.io site is de designed to do those redirects very easily. It's a, a simple file. Um, has this, this particular name, and then inside the content of the file, it says it's a redirect and what the destination of the redirect is. Okay, because um, I was considering op uh, opening the PR with the new section, mm -hmm. working on the PR with the new substitution section, but I'm not sure how to go ahead with the redirect part. Ah, well, so, so, so let, me, let me show you an example of a redirect so that you can see it. Let's let's do that because if you're interested in doing this, if you're interested in doing that pull request, that would be great. And let's show you how you do a redirect. Okay, so here's I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring up uh, my thing to find a redirect.
Perfect. Here we go. Content slash account dot a dot. And so I'm going to open that up and we'll put the URL in it. GitHub Jenkins.io. So now we look at content uh, account. What was it? It was content slash account dot a doc. This one. Perfect. This is the, uh, the code for that file. That's all it is. Okay. And in fact, maybe we can find one that does a redirect into www.jenkins.io. Let me look just a minute. Yes, here's an even better one. Okay, here's an even better one. All right, so this is, this is one that Alyssa might remember. Here is an example of a reader. No, we won't do this one, Alyssa. We'll, we'll do a different one. Okay, so how about here is a redirect content slash content. What silliness is that? Yeah, here's a good, here's a good choice. All right. Welcome.adoc. So there, there is a, if I go to Jenkins.io, welcome. It shows it automatically, you saw that it flashed the page, said yes. this content has moved to such and such. And so this is a, a good example of exactly that. And it shows how that works. So I'm just going to put that into the notes here. So Zenob, what you would do is you would copy the content of the existing pages into the new location in the directory structure. Then you would create the same file name as though existing as those existing pages and all that the same that the the existing page files would have in them is this very simple four lines. Now the redirect URL here, is not slash the redirect URL you'd need to provide is to docs um, doc slash we'd have to look it up it's doc slash book slash troubleshooting slash diagnosing like errors okay. yeah that That's would be how it works. all right so that, yeah, that makes sense. that would be the idea and then you do that Okay. So does that does that feel comfortable to you? Yes, it does. Um, but if I have any further questions, I'll just send you a message. Perfect. Yes. Happy to happy to help and happy to coach. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Anything else that we need to discuss on the troubleshooting page then? I'll review this same concept in Docs Office Hours Asia about, about 12 hours from now, just to be sure. So I expect that they'll say, oh yeah, we like Zenob's idea, let's go with it. Okay. Great, thank you. Okay. So we are at about half past. Zenob, sometimes you've needed to leave at, at this point. Are we at a point where we should just call this stop? and call our meeting done? Or do you want to, to watch as I go through a bug fix? Um, I have to drop off now. Okay, then let's call the meeting done for today and we'll take these other issues later. Thanks everybody, great session. Thank you very much, Zenob. Thanks, Alyssa. Thank you, Mark. All right. Bye, Zenob. Bye. bye, Mark. Bye. bye, -bye.